In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a spreadsheet through VBA into your Access database. I'll also add some code to actually open the spreadsheet up and read where the column ends, so that way you can import just the data that you need without those extra rows that might occur when you import a spreadsheet. In order to begin, we're going to make a blank database. We're just going to select that option there. And I'm just going to accept the default name and I'm going to click Create. Automatically a table is made, but we're really not interested in a table right now. I am now having a blank database and we need to create a module in order to bring that spreadsheet in. So what I'm going to do is click the Create tab and I'm going to come over to the other and I'm going to click and I'm going to select Module. If you're into shortcut keys, here's another way to get into the Module pane. I'm going to close out of here and now that I'm here, I'm going to select Alt and F11 at the same time and it immediately leaps me back behind a Module window and by default it'll create a Module 1. If you have more than one module, you'll have more modules and it will start with the next module in line. So I have some code already written so that we can get to the point, but in order for a code to successfully run in Microsoft Access, we have to make sure some reference libraries are turned on. I'm going to go to Tools and I'm going to click on the References menu item and you're going to have it pop open and now we need to navigate to the references that we need to turn on. I'm going to take my code and I'm going to paste it right into this module window and now we are ready to test out our VBA to bring a spreadsheet into our database. So just to slowly demonstrate what the module will do, I'm going to use F8 to actually step through this code and demonstrate to you how this is going to work. Just as long as my cursor is anywhere below this public function line, I should be able to hit F8 and you'll see that it gets highlighted and I can just click F8 and it'll keep reading everything in my code. And we have a dialog box that pops open so we can navigate to our spreadsheet. And I'm going to navigate to a spreadsheet called Cities. It just has two columns in it. And when I click on that, it's going to go down and this is where it's actually going to open the book up. If you notice, the workbook is open. And in my code, I'm actually reading where does it end as far as the column goes and where does it end when it comes to the bottom of my spreadsheet list. So we should end at 29,000 if I'm correct. I'm going to keep going. And if you notice in my variable, we end at column B and the last row is 29,471. It's going to close this workbook down. And now that I have those variables saved in memory, if you notice, I'm going to import A1 and I'm going to import all the way to letter B and all the way down to the last row. And if everything worked correctly, I'm going to close my module window down you will notice I have a new table in my Access database. If I open it up, I have created a table and I've imported it in quite easily using some VBA. 